In this tutorial in PhotoDirector 365, we're going to introduce the subject of layer masking. What are masks? Why do we use them? And how do we use them? In order to mask anything in a layer, we need to go into the layer section. So we need to be on the edit button at the very top. I'll do that and it will take this particular photo and put it as my background or primary layer on the left side. Let's see what happens if we try to mask it. Now normally the background layer is one that we don't want to work on. So I'm going to right click on it and I'll duplicate it. And then for now I'll simply turn it off and we'll work with the copy. I'm going to click on the background copy, press the F2 key, and let's give it a name. Let's call it main picture. And now we have it. This is the one we're going to work on. To create a layer basically means we punch a hole in it. There are several ways in which you can do that. I'm going to go to my second tool from the top, the brush, and here we can create some objects. Let's just go to a square. I'll click on the square and I'll draw a rectangle. With that rectangle drawn, I'm going to click on the mask option with my main picture selected. That's the square with a hole in it. I'll click on that. And immediately what it does is it will punch a hole in the picture and the hole is the black area. So imagine you have a picture and you take a scissors and you cut wherever you cut. So you lay it on something below the, the thing that's below will show through wherever it's black. Now, in this case, I want the reverse. So I'm going to right click on that and I'll do invert layer mask. And now my hole happens to be here. So actually we've cut a hole in this picture without doing any damage to the original. And we look below and below we see the transparent area. Now, if I turn my background on, since the background is the same as the foreground, you don't see a change, but let me show you something else we'll try. We're going to add another layer. I'll click on my layer options and I'm going to click add a solid color layer. And let's take a color, well, let's take something green and click on OK. It will automatically put it at the top so it covers everything. I don't want that. So I'm going to take and drag it down and I'm going to put it below my boat. Now our background is off. So the lower layer, if we turn our boat layer off, the lower layer is all green. So we turn this layer back on again. The black area, which is our scissors cut hole in this case, shows through to what's underneath and what's underneath here happens to be green. So that's as simple as it is to cut a rectangular hole in your image. Now this is non-destructive again. We're not actually cutting a hole in the picture. If I want to turn the impact of that layer mask off, I right click on it and I can just click on disable. And now it's not doing that as it sits there right next to my picture of my boat. So basically, in order to see what's going on, I look at the picture to the left. I look for any area that's black. And I know that that part will be, in effect, cut out of that picture. And what we will see will be in the layer or layers below it. So I'll enable that again. Let's add to it with an ellipse. I'll click here and I have the ellipse. I'll press the delete key. And now you notice what it did. It didn't damage the photo. It just added another place where we're looking through to the layer below, which is solid green. I'll press the escape key. There are other ways in which you can do this. Let's take part of this clock tower. I'm going to click this selection area here and we'll highlight the clock tower. And now I'm with that highlighted. What I'm going to do is press the delete key again. And now that also shows through. And if I look at my layer mask, over here, I get to see every little part that I've deleted is black. Now there's ways in which you can customize this and edit it, and we'll show you that in a moment. But this basically is the principle of how masks work. Masks create holes where an image is without damage to the image. And when you apply them, you get to see what's in the lower level. So I could put all kinds of things in the lower level that would appear in the mask not necessarily another picture. Let's take another object here. We'll add another photo layer from a folder. So I'll add this picture of a cornfield. And now I'll put it in a lower level. 
and I'm going to turn off the solid green. And now we see the image of the cornfield showing through wherever our mask is. Now if you want to edit the mask, there are several ways in which you can do it. One common way is to click on the mask on that level and then use the pencil tools. If I use a black one, that will create more objects that seem to be holes in the video. So I'm going to take this marker here and we'll just draw something here. And now we have another custom shape hole that I've drawn with a mouse. We're looking through the lower layer. That's a cornfield. And we see that here. We could actually make it look as though the boat, if I use my mouse here, is in a sea of corn, if I wanted to, for some odd reason. And if you notice on the left, it's changing the look of the lower mask. Now, when you're using this particular tool, the pen tool, you can also switch the other direction. If I click on color and switch to white, click on OK. Now, white undoes the black. So I can do the opposite there. So white patches the holes to the lower layers and black changes it. We can actually do that here with our ellipse and change the ellipse to something rather different if I wanted to. So I can modify that infinitely if I want to do that using the black and white. I also have other tools besides the pencil. I have a brush and an airbrush. Let's click on the airbrush. Go back to our black, which cuts more holes in our image. Click on OK. And now if I airbrush, I get a soft edge that I can use. So that gives me an opportunity to modify my mask, this area with holes in it that look beneath it, in any number of ways. Now if I like a mask and I want to use it again, and maybe save it and, and use it in a different project or use it in the same project later on, I can right click on that and I can click on Save Layer Mask. It will take me to a place where I can name it. This is called Layer Mask 1. I'll just call it test, press enter. Now I've saved it. So what I could do in this case is I could right click and I could delete the layer mask. I could come back now and I could click on layer mask again, right click on it and click on load layer mask. And here's my test. And now I've loaded it back in. So that's a way to save a mask independent of the project that you're working on. That's the basic function of a mask. One question you might have is, why would I use a mask? What can it do that's really productive? We're going to answer that question in the next tutorial where we show you one of the ways to use a layer mask, and that is we're going to change the color of the sails on the boat in this picture.